It's a special Delta Safari this week as we visit with Food Network's own Marty Duncan. And be sure to stick around to the end because there will be presents. Let's have a little Christmas on the Delta. One of the things that makes life on this Delta so incredible is not only do you have the wild space that is the Mobile Tensaw Delta, but at the same time, you've got all the modern amenities encircling it thanks to the city of Mobile and the eastern shore over in Baldwin County, which is where I am today. I'm in Old Town Daphne, which is the old downtown uh, area, and I'm going to a wine bar called Le Bouchon Wine and Tapas Bar. Here I am at Le Bouchon Wine and Tapas Bar, and I walk in, and who do I see but my co-host, Mike Bailey, Sip and Chew with Mike and Stu. Hey, everybody. How do you? How's everybody going? <laughs> Go it. <ahead>. Do it. <laughs> Michael, tell me about this mouth that you recommend. Yeah. It's hard to see it. It's notorious for Malbec. It's like they were invented there, but they're not. They weren't. They're, they're actually a blending grape out of uh, France, out of the Bordeaux region, and they're used extensively in Chile and California to blend with. You don't see many uh, single varietal Malbecs out of France or out of uh, California, per se, but you do South America. Chile and, and Argentina, of course. So. The reason I'm at Le Bouchon tonight is it's another collision of Delta Safari and my radio show Sip and Chew with Mike and Stu. We are honored to have a good friend of the show and, and a good friend of mine, Miss Marty Duncan from Food Network, in town supporting her new book. So she's doing a book signing here at Label Sean, and I thought I would stop by and say hello. Thank you so much. Oh, thank you. I appreciate you coming in. Thank you. Thank you. All right, we're here at Le Bouchon Wine and Tapas Bar, and who do we run into but Food Network's own Marty Duncan. Marty, what are you doing here? Okay, Chef, I am so fortunate. Thank y'all for inviting me, because this is the cutest place. I'm at Le Bouchon, right? <laughs> right. It's a cute little wine bar, but tapas. It is adorable, right in Daphne, right in downtown Daphne. And so I'm here signing copies of my books, and I even have some of my older books, too, which Ooh. is... Like, I never have these. I brought these out of the archive. <laughs> um, I actually did print them for something for Christmas, and I had a few extras, so. Okay, anyway. so that book, Alabama Cravings, what it's is that? It's out of print. Yeah, but what is it? Oh, well, it was my first out statewide book. Right. So I had done two for Birmingham, and people kept calling me or messaging me, saying, Marty, do my city. Where's our city? Do our city. And I couldn't do everybody's city. So I decided to go around the state, and I went to 1,000, I was thinking it was almost 5,000 miles. I don't know how many different things. but So I came up with this one a couple years back, and it's got beautiful original artwork in it. And this one does, too. Caroline Ward-Sayer, who worked for me. You probably know oh, Caroline. Oh, yeah. Love Caroline. So Caroline worked for me for a long time. Look at this beautiful artwork. I've had people even just cut that out of the book and frame it. Isn't that pretty? Beautiful. Oh, oh so is that. <laughs> but anyway, so these are just recipes and restaurants from around the state. So then I decided to take it a step further with this one because people would say, Marty, okay, so you've been around the state all these times. Now, what do we do besides eat? Where else can we go? So I decided to, because you know when you go on a trip, how it is, you do like, okay, where are we going? And what we're going to eat when we get there, right? Right. And then when you sit down for breakfast, you're already talking about where you're going to eat lunch. So this solves all those things for you. It's where you're going <laughs> and what you when you get there. And then, bonus, you even have the recipe to make when you get home. Uh, outstanding, yeah. outstanding. You know, right here on the Mobile Delta, we've got 
this great mix of wild space yes. and city. Yes, we do. So we've got a lot of stuff to do here, and I'm sure there's plenty right. of it in your book, isn't yes, it? Yes, I mean, look at this. I mean, people don't even oh, know South some of this Alabama. exists. This is the destination part for the, um, the Gulf Coast region. So you start out with the, like the sea turtles right. and oh, the yeah. beaches, and then you flip over and you're in the, I mean, then you, of course, I got the Grand Hotel, the Queen of the South. Then look at the beautiful, you know the American Lotus, that's oh, a photo yeah. by Jimbo Matter, one of our true che treasures. Jimbo right. is a dear friend of mine, but he's one of our true treasures, but he's, you know, a guide on the Delta and knows more about it than anybody. Mm -hmm. But the New York Times wrote an article about this, and a lot of people that live here don't even know that this is a thing. Right. So anyway, that's what I tried to do. I tried to do things that are things that you do know, like the Grand Hotel, and things you may not know, like, for example, the Sand Island Lighthouse. Oh yeah, and that is shrinking. You know, mm -hmm. it used to be the like, island is shrinking. I don't know how many acres it used to be, but now it's down to like four. And if we don't get money donated to it and shore it up, then we're gonna lose it. Right. But, I mean, look how be Jimbo took that one too. Isn't that beautiful? Oh yeah. So I tried to do a little of something for everybody, something for the kids. Mm -hmm. And you know what was so exciting to me? I did a book signing last week, and a little kid. I think he was 10, came up and sat down beside me and he said, can I look at your book? And I'm like, sure. So he took it up and he started reading it out loud. Mm -hmm. And people started gathering around and he goes, mom, I want to go to this place. I want to go to that place. Mom, let's make a list of all the places. And so I gave him a book. I said, circle them here. And, <laughs> and I gave it to him because I, I was just so tickled that he was actually right. reading it. And then he's like, I want to go to all these places. Oh, that's so it was awesome. really cool, wasn't it? So anyway, it's Marty Duncan Sweet Home Alabama. Destinations and dishes worth the trip. That's a long title. <laughs> but I think it explains that it's not just recipes this time. It's a bit of something for everybody. If you don't cook, we got your restaurants. If you just want to go on a day trip or travel, we've got that too. Outstanding. You got a website they can go to? Well, they can go to my website, martyduncan.com. And it's Marty with an I-E. MartyDuncan.com, and then I go to the book section, and it tells you everywhere that sells them. And they're not on Amazon or Books a Million or Barnes and Noble because this is a book about local places. So I only sell them at local places. Outstanding. Now after Christmas, I probably put it on Amazon. I don't blame you. But <laughs> I mean, but for the first year, uh, I wanted to let it be on just in the local places. Right. But they can buy it through my website if they're not anywhere near there's because I mean I don't have, I have 70 stores but they're not everywhere outstanding so I'll send it to them and I think I take my last Christmas order on the 21st I think is what the post office said all right thanks a lot Marty thanks as the name implies Le Bouchon wine and tapas bar serves tapas but on Monday nights they're joined by chef Caitlin who puts together an incredible menu. Check this out for tonight. Whipped gorgonzola topped with cranberry mustardo served with toasted crostini. Flatbread topped with zotter pesto, tomatoes, and feta cheese. A wedge Caesar salad. For an entree, they have porchetta, which is pork loin stuffed with herbs served with white beans. On the small plates menu, smoked tomato, basil mac and cheese and for dessert homemade pecan pie cheesecake ago, 
I came out here to the Glen Sebastian Trail on the campus of the University of South Alabama to do a little hiking. And of course, I hiked around the pond out here. And I was heading by and I thought, let's stop and see if there's anything in here. I mean, you can tell it's a beautiful pond. But are there any fish in it? We're about to find out. So I'm doing a little bit of Christmas Eve fishing. And of course, here comes the rain. I managed to brave this cold drizzle for 20 minutes or so, and I guess you could say I had pretty good luck. Four crappie and a bluegill. I'll be coming back.